Let's just try different use cases of GenSpark and see that how this self-proclaimed super AI agent is helpful in our real world scenarios. If you don't know about GenSpark, GenSpark is a super AI agent just released yesterday and it works very similar to Manus. If you don't know about Manus, Manus is another AI agent. But the only problem is you cannot directly access Manus. You will have to join a waiting list. And also Manus is paid and it costs around $39 per month. GenSpark also has a paid plan but its free version is good enough to like try all of its features. One thing that GenSpark and this kind of AI agents are really good at is doing research and deep research on a certain topic and scraping hundreds and hundreds of websites on a certain topic. So let's just try to create something useful around this topic. We'll try GenSpark for some of the tasks that I personally spend a lot of time every single day and we'll just try to complete all of those tasks using GenSpark. If you're just worried about my red eyes, so I'm not doing drugs, I'm just a bit sick, but rather than resting, I'm just dedicated in making these videos. So please just click on that subscribe button and just like this video as well. All right, so you can simply just access GenSpark by simply just going to this website, which is GenSpark.ai. After that, on this left side, you will find these different sections. One is Image Studio, another one is Video Generation, then there is Deep Research, then there is AI Agents. Simply just go to AI Agent section and from here, just go to this Super Agent section. There are different agents for different kind of like purposes. There is one agent like for Deep Research, there is one for Data Search, there is one for Cross Check, also there is one for Call for Me that can actually call on your behalf to do different tasks. But let's just try this GenSpark Super Agent. Let me just open that and just what, what I want to do, I want to like create a very detailed kind of a website that has different and almost you can say every possible AI coding editor out there. So I'm going to ask GenSpark to, to do its research, do its like deep research to find every single possible AI code editor out there and all of other different VS Studio code extensions that are out there to like then list that and then create a very detailed landing page in, in, in terms of like comparison, compare its price and all of that stuff. So I'm just going to give it a prompt and then I'm just going to ask it to do research first and then, then create that like landing page. I want you to create a very deep research about all of the different AI code editors available out there. There are different kind of AI code editors. Some are web-based, some are desktop and PC-based, some are Visual Studio extensions. All right, so this is our prompt. So I'm just going to press enter and now let's see what it does. It should first do a very detailed in-depth research. After that, it should then create a very nice looking comparison landing page. That landing page should have all of that data, all of the comparisons that are required. So right now you can see it is not doing this research. First thing was, let me search for information about AI code editors currently available in the market. Now let me get more detailed information about some of the top AI code editors to understand their features, pricing and compatibility. Then let me try and their approach to gather information based on these AI code editors. So it is just going to like going through all of these different websites. It has just first researched about Cursor, then it has researched about Codium, which is Windsurf. Then there is type AI. Then there is, it is like, like going through all of the pricings of all of these AI code editors. Then it is searching about this Flutter AI code editors. Okay. So as you can see that it does create very high quality landing pages, but it does that in HTML. So it actually create all of the HTML code for us to like, I mean, that HTML code is simple enough to like then use it anywhere. You can just like use it in, in an existing website or you can just like host it anywhere. You can just like then customize or modify as you want. All right, so after just few minutes, it has created this very long and very detailed page about comparison. So let's just review this landing page and see if it has done a good job or a bad job. So this is the landing page and it has categorized all of these different AI code editors in three categories. One is web-based AI code editors, then there's desktop editors, and then there is IDE extensions. So first it has written an introduction to AI code editors. After that, it has just like created this how AI code editor work. And after that, now here's a table of content. The first one is web-based AI code editor and it has mentioned cursor, codium, tray, and code anywhere. So none of these AI code editors are web-based because these are local desktop editors. So it has just like made a mistake there. So that's the first mistake that it has done. Then there is a desktop application. Then in, inside desktop application, it has mentioned this peer.ai, then Z continue, and then adder. Yeah, that's fine. And then there is GitHub extensions. So it has mentioned about GitHub Copilot, Codium extension, JetBrains AI code editors, Amazon Code Whisper, and then Cody by Sourcecraft. So first thing that it has, the first mistake that it has made, it has entered like listed cursor under this web-based AI code editor. That's the first big blender, but it has got the prices right. So it has just like this, uh, got this first plan, which is a free plan. Then it has got this pro plan. Then it has got this business plan. So 
it has mentioned that cursor offers limited support for mobile application development while it, while it works for flutter react native and other cross platform mobile applications it does not provide specialized mobile specific features like the ones found in dedicated mobile ids that's fine okay so then it has mentioned about codium and windsurf it has got the right details for the paid plan and then after that there is tray it has mentioned that there is a free plan which is perfect all right so then it has mentioned like all other these different AI code editors and then mentioned their plans as well perfect so the so the data is presented in quite a good way we can actually ask it to make changings about the kind of like it misunderstood about cursor and windsurf but we can ask that it to later so here is the main comparison so best AI code it is for mobile application development so github copilot it has mentioned that it has a strong candidate for that so it has like created four uh, kind of parameters for that the first one is mobile sport level the second one is flutter sport the third one is react native sport the fourth one is native android and ios sport so it has mentioned like given it rating based on each ai code editor and based on like each of these different parameters then it just like gave this decision guideline that you can based on these parameters you can actually take a right decision to choose any of these ai code editors so this is a kind of a research paper i can actually just simply download this as a pdf and then use it anywhere all right let's just try another use case let's suppose if i'm traveling to canada this coming june and i want to like ask my ai agent to plan my entire trip let's just like be specific give it specific command give it like specific information about my budget about my total traveling time and about like what kind of cities I'm, i want to travel so it will just like plan my trip accordingly so let's just ask it to like create a very detailed pdf about that so i am based in london i want to travel to canada in june my specific dates of traveling are between 10th of june to 20th of june i want you to act as my travel planner and plan this entire tour for me i will be traveling with my wife so my main aim is to explore the top destinations in canada also i have a limited budget of five thousand dollars for this entire travel that includes our plane tickets our hotel tickets and food and anything else as well please plan this travel properly look for the cheapest flights and the cheapest dates look for the best hotels also plan which areas we should go to first and then which areas we should visit at the last keep everything in mind now just create a plan and then create a very specific and precise pdf document do not add anything extra in the pdf document all right so that's it so let's just see if it can plan my trip as my travel planner will do so let's just press enter and see if it can do this job or not so first thing it is now going to go through a lot of websites i think it will go usually i use booking.com so maybe it will go through booking.com for cheapest flights it's going through all of these different blogs first of all top 10 destinations for tourists in june okay then okay fine day one to do vancouver so it wants to take us to vancouver first i was expecting that we might go to montreal first or somewhere okay anyways so then it wants to take us to scray provincial park which is in where in jasper so jasper is beautiful then renting an suv okay fine so right now it is just like giving us okay so this is uh, my favorite place in calgary lake louise this is the hotel that i always wanted to stay so it has listed that as well so banff is in banff i think yeah right now it is just like doing all of these research it is not this is not like the final results that it will give us it will give us final results in a pdf file so they want to do is in montreal okay perfect i think it heard me <laughs> they want to do is in montreal then day three to four is in mont tremblant then five to seven is in quebec city quebec city and montreal very close to each other so eight to nine is there then okay that's not very I mean, that's that's just like one small tiny part of montreal like that province now it is checking the flights from london to toronto and then it is checking flights from london to vancouver so it is finding right from the cheapest flights so far uh, like whatever options will be cheaper it will send us there first so then it is checking the hotel prices then the hotel prices in first in toronto and then in vancouver in montreal so then there is transportation cost within canada for tourists and then there is average food cost for tourists in canada so it is just like making sure that it covers every single possible cheapest option that it can in this entire tour now it is going to create a web page kind of a pdf so it is just writing the code in html again because that's the best way to create pdf in a browser so if i just click on this view button what will happen so it has just if i could just click on this view button it can show all of the cheapest flights so i can see it has searched on these different websites okay where is it 
I'll just click on that now right now i can access this pdf in here the preview is still loading it is still writing the code so just within few minutes it has created this pdf file and i can simply just export it as pdf and then i can just open it in a pdf file or i can simply just open this as a web page so here it is right now so it has just focused on that montreal and quebec city basically that that province of quebec so it has just like focused on that province only all right so the flights will cost around 1480 accommodations will cost around 1500 food will cost 1000 transportation 400 and activities in 620 all right that's fine then there are top highlights also did a very detailed breakdown of cost for each day then breakdown of activities and morning routine and lunch and afternoon and evening routine for each day which is really really helpful most of the times whenever we are on a vacation i'm just like clueless completely so this is helpful okay so cost breakdown and details that's fine it has given like all of these different cost breakdowns then there is a money saving tips perfect so pre-tip pre-trip savings then there is a transportation after that there is essential travel information and it has like given us the immigration kind of details as well so fine so this is a very nice looking pdf file i can actually use it as a my proper travel plan so this is nice i mean this is very helpful this is something that will help me in my day-to-day -day life i mean if i'm traveling if i'm planning a proper travel and if this much work i had to do manually so it could take hours and hours but this is very helpful similarly there are these image generation tools you can use them you can generate images using the top image generation models you can use flux which is one of the best out there then you can use this ideogram 2.0 then you can use this recraft dali and Gemini imagine three but I'm really impressed by flux actually so you can just use like flux in here what I'm really like what this actually shows their entire all of these different offerings and all of these different tools it shows that they want to be more like all in one place kind of tools that they want to be in future so this AI agent gen spark is considered as like super AI agent so it has like all of the image generation tools and it has video generation tools it has done deep research tools that then it has like different kind of AI agents that can do any different type of like jobs based on your behalf so one more thing that i should mention here is this option for call for me so let, let's suppose if you want to like ask this and to call let's suppose the nearby restaurants or like to make reservations in some place so for that right now it only supports the us and canada numbers and then it only supports the japan numbers i am based in uk so I, it does not support the uk phone numbers the process is simple you can just choose your mobile number you can enter it here you can just like get your verification code and verify your phone number and after that this agent will be able to make calls on your behalf so genspark is super helpful if you have to like create some sort of landing pages or if you have to do some sort of like research work or if you have to like maybe do some sort of like reservations or you have to like maybe plan your tour so it is helpful for these different kind of like countless number of use cases you can use this kind of ai agents still it's not absolutely free it has a very limited usage so after a few tasks it will ask you to upgrade your plan and buy the pro plan should you buy that or not I think maybe not at this stage because you can still like do this kind of tasks using Gemini. So not as efficient as Genspark is, but this is something that you should definitely keep an eye on because in maybe next couple of months, this tool can actually become more powerful with various more options and various more use cases. If you have any further questions, just leave your comments in the comment section. I see you next video. Bye-bye.